Und, und. See ya. So, anyways, hello everybody. Jordy Car Infusion here, doing a grateful um, voiceover. Um, I want to say I apologize kind of about the story time thing. I just didn't think it was the right time for it. Because I got a lot of other things I got to carve. I got to carve some signs. Uh, I got to carve an owl, a wood spirit. I got to carve about 10 wood spirit uh, succulent holders. Like little stumps about two, two feet tall, three feet tall. So there's a face I carved on the side. So these are going to be all planters, succulent planter. And I really don't like this piece. Um, so yeah. Anyways, here's a mampa cutter, hole cutter. Um... Yeah, you can get these at the Mampa site. They're Korean tools. They're great tools. I am sponsored by them, but I don't get paid for them. They just asked me to show them in my videos, and they sent me the tools. And I like them. If I didn't like them, I'd straight up and say I don't like them. I think they're all great quality tools. Um, so you can see it's it's great for... Because uh, don't forget, I'm curving against the grain there. So, and this is that sequoia wood too, right? So this is the last video for what's uh, Vigor. The rock man. So I will be doing a story on uh, Vigor because I got to eat. Vigor needs to finish the story, um, but I'll be doing that in the winter time when things kind of slow down and I'm not selling um, the carvings like crazy. So yeah, so I just kind of uh, cut the nose off and said, "Carry on, carry on." But you can see how well that uh, works. I could use my chainsaw to uh, do this, but the chainsaw takes a lot of. I just felt like this is lighter work so it's just it takes a little bit longer but it's a lot lighter work and anybody can do it there's little cutters on the bottom there I'm surprised I never sped this up I guess I wanted to show you guys how good this uh, cutter works you guys if you've carved sequoia wood is it sequoia or no sorry ectoleptopus or something Eat a lot of puss. No, just kidding. Ectolotopus. Exolotopus. I can't pronounce it. Sorry. But anyways, if you guys carved it, I'd love to hear about it. Because I got, I can get more of this stuff to carve too. This piece, there was just nothing special about it. I like wood. This is like white wood, right? But I like the wood that has different colors in it. You can use it for um, different things. On this piece, the other piece had colors. So I blew it out there. And I don't know if you can see the green here. If it's slowed it down so look at those wide rings i don't know if that's the grain like i don't think each one of those is a growth a year of growth but i think there's it's got to be tighter inside those big dark rings but yeah if you've carved it or if you know lots about the wood i'd love to hear about it in the comments below because this is my first time carving it it's not it's this wood soaking wet but it's not that bad to carve really like it's not fuzzy with your dremels and stuff so, excuse me, here's a new impact wrench I got, and this is a, a spade bit, because you got to put the drill holes in there, right, for the, sorry, drill holes for the drain holes. So all the plot potters will have drain holes. I don't know, maybe if they put plants in here, this wood might kill the plants. I'll just tell them to put a plastic bag down too, right? So there's my hole in there coming out the back now here's my uh, cheap I got this on Etsy chainsaw gouger or whatever you want to call it so I thought I would texture the rest of the piece with this like yeah okay Jordy like right there and right there just to get it done there's nothing about this piece that I actually liked so you know and I just want I didn't want to have another piece lying around that was unfinished right so if I can't if I can't sell this thing, I'll just give it away because I probably put about seven hours into it, and the amount of time, or probably even eight hours, I, I'm not going to get anywhere near the money where with I don't carve to make money anyways. I carve because I love it. But you know, if you you got to make money, if you got to pay, if you got bills, you got to make money, right? If you're not going to work, so basically I've been living on my carvings because well, YouTube helps pay some bills but doesn't pay the bills like the ads you guys see so there I am just doing the thing you know just doing the thing just getting her done this is on a 170 so you see here look 
the bar mount bolts strip right out. Look, it's stripped right out of there. There's no saving that. This this 170 is like a hundred years old. I've just beat on it. It's, I bought it when I first started carving for like 70 bucks. So here's the Mampa cutter. I said, screw it. I'll finish it with this. I could have finished it with my chainsaw too, but so again, these are Korean tools, guys. Great tools. Just putting textures in there, kind of like wind lines or whatever you want to call it. Studio to show out. I love single moms. This means support single moms. Cuts all, guys. I'll have a link below to get your cuts alls. This is the thing I like. I like made his eyes sideways. That was the best piece off the piece. But there you can see it's all textured. And uh, did I say shout out Studio on Lake? Anyway, shout out Studio on Lake. Just Carve Rob, shout out. So, you know, if you guys, here's a long story short, okay? If you got, if you carve a piece and it sucks, make it a succulent holder. It will sell or somebody will want it. So here I am with the torch. I basically just finished this piece because I'm not a quitter and I would hate to have it lying around like that ba little baby bear I got around there. No, sorry, baby dinosaur. It's still sitting there. People are like, hey, is that a be little bear? My Jordy doesn't carve bears. So, so it's kind of burnt. This wood was soaking wet. It's kind of like a dry wet wood, but super hard to burn. And uh, yeah, so I've left it there. I came back next morning. I was going to burn it more, but didn't burn anymore. So here I am with the sound of flex. My tent's like a sauna. That's why that back door is open. So... I don't know what kind of bird this is, but I want to try and get better at my eagles. That was, that was supposed to be an eagle. Here it is again. Look, it's supposed to be an eagle, but I just, I don't know. I can't make the heads small enough in the beaks. I don't think I'll have a problem making the beak proportionate, but I just have a problem with the scale. That's where it broke off. It broke off when I unscrewed the piece from that log it was on and the whole thing tipped over. And I was like, oh, well, I didn't even try and stop it. So here I put some fruity little weed flowers in there. That's where the eagle was, now it's a planter. Those nice little flowers for weeds. I don't know, maybe they're not weeds. They're just out in the field. Just to finish this video. So the owl's looking up, right? Looks like a demon owl or something, I don't know. But anyways. Yep. That's about it. Yep. I'll find something to do with that little carving fusion warrior bird and um hope you guys are all good and there will be uh a vigor story you might not have a big nose but so there's one two three four five planters succulents they look awesome in there this thing will look pretty good once it's weathered i think right i don't know how much this stuff's gonna crack really don't care um, I can't donate it to the spirit trails because I can't put flo uh, like put native flowers in there. So here's the piece I'm going to carve the succulent planters out of. One, two, three. Yep. Hi. Bye. Hi. So here's one. Of, see this one? It's got like a door in it. This beard separates. There's like a door down there. Then there's a couple. There's three in the back. I did those right after I did. Uh, I did those about 45 minutes each, I think. Anyway, see you later.